Hey, good morning. Your Elgin is here and it's uh, being shipped. And I just want to go over the uh, care and winding uh, instructions for this watch. Beautiful watch. Uh, I want to say a few things about it. The movement that uh, has been uh, serviced and repaired came with this watch, which is really fantastic. Um, the hands did not. I have had these... Uh, these hands for a long time and they they worked out perfectly with this dial and there you go and uh uh the original watch did not come with this crown these are one from my my collection and it's absolutely a gorgeous watch this if there's anyone i'm not supposed to say this but if there's anyone that is my favorite it's these 16 millimeter lugs and the way they look on this big old pillow top cushion case so enough said about that that's a little bit of the history and uh, uh i think it's really cool to have history uh, so here we go uh it's not a waterproof watch so you don't want to wear it in the rain i uh, don't want to get it wet it's uh i wouldn't even call it water resistance so just keep it out of the rain keep it out of getting wet uh another good thing i like to tell people is don't leave it in the hot sun for hours and hours like on a dresser for example uh of course wearing it's not that but just when it's just sitting there being blared on by the sun and it gets hot don't let it do that be aware of that keep it away uh to avoid magnetism with these old watches i'm starting to tell people don't leave it next to your cell phone at night don't leave it next to the charger for your cell phone don't leave it next to anything that is plugged in and creating a charge or anything like that. That's just sort of something I'm, I'm telling people not to do. Because uh, magnetism is a problem sometimes. Uh, you know, the cup of your sleeve of your of your uh, coat can actually cause uh, a little bit of static uh, magnetism on the watches. Which will release itself. So anyway, I'm talking too much about that. So here we go. Uh, winding. Now, we're not going to go back and forth. It's not a water, modern watch. So we're only going to wind in the one direction, which is forward or clockwise with a slight pressure in. Take your time. One direction. You will not break the mainspring and you'll know when it gets tight because these elders don't take a lot. So we're coming up to it. I can feel it. And there it is. This little stop. You got it. Now to set the hands, uh, instead of a pull out like this, like you're just grabbing it and doing it like that, we want to be a little more gentle with it. And that way the mechanism that's in here, uh, which is different than Swiss or anything else, uh, it's totally different. It will last uh, a long, 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 long time. So then now, here we go. So we're going to do a pinch behind the crown instead of a pull out. So pinch behind the crown. And uh, do it again. Push it back in. A little pinch. You'll hear a little click. Do it one more time. A little pinch out. And there we go. Now, when you set the hands, we want to go in the forward or clockwise direction. Clockwise direction. So, setting the hands and don't whip them around. So we don't want to go backwards. Always go forward. And take your time. And. When you're ready to go, ready to rumble, push in the crown. There you go. A uh, little care on the case. Just uh, up, you have a rouge cloth. Just a little, I'll buff this out before I put it in the box. Uh, just by hand. Uh, I use rouge cloth on all my stuff. Uh, you wear it for a, a month. It starts to dull up. A little rouge cloth. Wipe everything. Glass, everything. Do it. And then just to take a little clean cloth and buff it off. And you're, you're good to go. Beautiful watch, one of my faves, and thank you very much.